Hi folks, this is Vardhan from Adoreka. Today you will learn to install HBase in your single node Hadoop cluster. In case you haven't set up Hadoop, Big and Hive already, please watch the previous videos in this playlist. Let's first download the HBase package from the internet and since it's free, you can download it from Apache's website. I'm going to Google HBase download. Click here to download HBase. So we have a number of releases here and I have already downloaded this 1.2.2 version. I would request you to do the same because this is a stable version of HBase. Now let me show you where it is present in my local file system. So the HBase star file you see here right, this is the downloaded package and we need to extract the contents from this star file. We can do that by running a command from our terminal. The command is tar hyphen xpf file name. Okay, now that we have untarred this package, there are three steps that we need to follow. We need to first update the environment variables with hbase's path. Next, we need to create a hbase directory and finally we need to update hbase's configuration files. So let's get started with updating the environment variables. For that we need to first go to our home directory and run the gedit.bashrc command. So in the bashrc file hbase's path is not set. So I have the path here. I'm going to copy it and paste the path. This is hbase's path and we are just informing the environment variables where it's set. So I'm going to save it and close. Now we need to source the bashrc file so that the terminal understands it's updated. Okay. Now we need to create a hbase directory and we can do that by going to our hbase folder let me list down the contents and create a directory here mkdir and file name so folks this is the newly created folder all right now the final step is we need to update hbase's configuration files and to update the hbase's configuration files we need to go to this folder so let's go to cd hyphen conf okay i'm going to list down the folders here and the hbase environment.sh and the hbase site.xml these are the two configuration files which we need to update so that our hadoop cluster is up and running so first let's update the site.xml file I do a gedit hbase site.xml. I go here. My properties are here. I'm going to copy these and paste it here. So, first of all, here we indicate that hbase root directory is present here. So, whatever processing is done, the data is stored in this hbase storage folder which is inside this directory and then there will be a zookeeper folder which will be automatically created inside this hbase storage folder which is again inside this directory okay now let me save this and close this next we need to update hbase environment.sh let's run a gedit command for that now in here we need to update java's path So this is where my JDK is installed. I want to paste the path. Okay, I'm going to save it and exit. Now to start HBase, we need to go to our HBase folder. Here we are. And then we need to run the command dot slash bin slash start hyphen HBase dot sh now 
now that hbase is started let me run a sudo jps command to just verify if all the processes are up and running okay folks as you can see our h master h region server and h quorum pair these three events have been started recently let me now show you how to enter the hbase shell for that let's change directory we need to now go to this bin directory let me do cd space bin and now i need to run the command hbase shell folks now we are in the hbase shell which means that hbase has been successfully configured in our hadoop cluster to verify that hbase is running let me show you the user interface of hmaster the hmaster which has the process we can sh i can show you that using my mobile mozilla firefox 16010 folks this is the user interface as it says the version is 1.2.2 and if you scroll down you can notice that our hbase has been stored in this directory thank you for watching the video folks please like the video and comment your doubts and queries do subscribe to edureka's channel to learn more happy learning